chilly. We went right from summer to winter. It snowed two inches the other day, but it's all gone because we've had some sunshine. On a good note, this is the least expensive gas has been for a while. Been a while since I've been up here. Y'all know this is my favorite spot. I wish it were more local, but the shop has been keeping me super, super busy, which is not a bad problem to have. The problem is, however, that it has not afforded me the opportunity to get out and get fishing. Now, you wouldn't know it, but we got about two and a half inches of snow. You can still see just a little bit left on the opposite bank. Um, But that little bit of snow really should have these trout jumping this morning. So this ride for me is about an hour and a half from where I live. But it's the closest clear water that, uh, that I've got around me. And it's the first place that I can get to to come trout fishing. So I think what we're going to do today is I'm going to start here at the head of the dam. I'm going to work both sides of it. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing at the point, but then I'm going to work my way down the river. So I'm going to hit the public access points, which is what I normally do. We're starting out here at Mammoth Spring State Park. Let's get after them. one of the days of sculping. We'll take that for sure. That's a big sculping, folks. Wow. It's foul hooked. It rose up to meet it. Interesting looking fish, aren't they? These little sculping. River's full of them. And this is what these bigger smallmouth are feeding on. Now, let's get a picture. Get these hooks out. Get it back in the water. Push this across too. There's a few deep spots, holes out here. It's never a bad idea to try, but the current's pretty swift through them, and I've got a fish on, and it's a good one. That's a real good fish. It's got me bent over. Looks like a bass, though. Doesn't look like a trout. Yep. That would be Mr. Bass, little green fish. <laughs> That's a good catch though. First basic cat, actually second cast on the relocation. And uh, pulling in, a nice little green fish. Hey little bud, good morning, how do you do? Very pretty, we'll take you. Nice, on the Guggen drag and drop, natural shad. Or natural, I think it's just the color of it. Look at that gold bronze on its back. How pretty this fish is. My goodness. That is quite a dandy of a fish. Gold bronze on the top. This time of year they just get so pretty. Oh, smells good too. All right, let's get a picture and let him go. On this Guga Dragon Drop with a 16th ounce Archie jig head. First fish of the morning. Well, first one that counts. My first one was a sculpin. Relocated out here on the Spring River. It's beautiful. So is this fish. Let's get it back in the water. All 
right, little one? Let's get you back in. Come on there. Other way. Get yourself. There you go. <laughs> well, that was fun. Love doing that first thing in the morning. It looks like they're sitting right over here in the grass. Of course, I'm all discombobulated now. Got me a little bit twisted up. But hey, I'm happy that there's still fish here. Let's uh, see if we can cast across and get his big sister. The Spring River is just a phenomenal estuary. There's migratory birds that come in through here. Smallmouth, largemouth, trophy-sized brown trout, trophy-sized bows, cut bows, cutthroat, some monster sculpin, some monster goggle eye, um, and shadow bass, which is similar to a rock bass or a goggle eye, but it is a specific strain to the Missouri, Arkansas, Ozark Mountains area. Pretty much all I'm doing now is just popping this jig up, 16th ounce Arky jig. See if we can't get something to play. I know there's still smallies here. With any luck, we'll be able to complete a slam and limit out and have a tasty trout dinner tonight. That's at least the plan for right now. I would generally find right off of this seam right here, I would be finding smallmouth most seasons out of the year. They just sit right back behind that riffle and wait for food to fly out. There's pretty good current here even when it's generally between spring and early fall this river flows at about 9 to 11 million gallons per hour or per minute actually I think. It's, it's a pretty fast river. It is a natural spring-fed river, as I've said many times before. And it's just, just a fantastic place to bring the family, bring the kids. Kids usually have pretty good luck trout fishing here. Whether you're fishing corn or artificial, I prefer, and almost exclusively fish artificial. These boys have been working hard. They want to try and finish this up before it gets cold. They have widened this bridge that you guys are looking at right here at Mammoth Spring. It's the entrance to the state park is right here. Riverbend Restaurant, bed and breakfast is right over there. I hear it's phenomenal food. I have not been, um, but I'd like to at some point. And one thing that is, uh, again, pretty cool about this river is that because it pops out of the ground about 80 feet down right here at the headwaters behind me at that dam the temperature remains fairly consistent throughout the year even when it's freezing cold up oh, that was a little something something didn't keep it might have just been a bluegill kind of felt like a panfish or a sculpin I can see it I'm trying to stand still Nope. Just to see what we can get in here this morning. I am going to be moving down downstream quite a bit. There's a pretty hard seam that runs on the opposite side of this, which is accessible through point number two. It's an RV campground. Uh, I believe it's open year round and it's a pretty modest rate, $2 fish all day. Um, the RV rates are obviously higher. I think it, oh, little guy, just didn't really just start it up. Quick release. And you are what? You are a trout. That's a trout right there, folks off the beaten path. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just kind of meandering back to where it came from. 
a little bow. You usually don't find them sitting back that far. Usually I don't. That is interesting. He might not have had the hook. Might not have known he was caught, which is fine. We can get him again. But there is activity right here in this area, which makes me happy. It's one of my favorite spots to fish. This is one of the first spots that I fished when I moved to Arkansas. Just a little tiny thing. Oh, the drag and drop will still take you. Barely hooked. It's all right, bud. We'll get you out of it. On oh, that drag and drop. Not bad. See ya. Trout. Good trout. On the Guggen Dragon Drop. Right in the top of the snout. Pick that up. And there, folks, <laughs> if it'll calm down for me, there's the first keeper of the day. Real pretty trout. A little bow. Good bass. That's a good fish right there. Nice little river bass. I'd like his big sister, though. Come on. Give it up. These sickle hooks work really well. Almost too well. Guggen bait, drag and drop. There is a bigger one down there because I just had it on the line. And it took me underneath something. But, uh, yeah, all right. There we go. That might stay pinned. Feels like a trout. It's a trout. Nice one. Got it. Beautiful trout. Might have a little something going here, folks. My goodness, look at this one. This is a beauty of a trout. Look at the beautiful colors on that, folks. Oh, wow. Gosh dang, they're pretty. Mm. 
another one. A little better. Fat bow. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Then. Gotcha. Feels like a trout. It's a trout. And it's a free trout. That sucks. There goes number four. Let's see if I've got any junk on this. Uh, maybe a little bit. Let's reset this. Flip this around to the other side. Yeah, shoot for the moon again. Oh, okay. Didn't expect that. Right on. Number four. Pretty one. Definitely an eater. Oh, this water is so cold. They feel so good. Totally trash this. I don't even know how to get this off. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Definitely gonna be tasty. Got something. That one's a bass. Gosh, they're pretty. I mean, these fish are really pretty. Blue in their cheeks. Oh, smells like the river. Feels like a bass. Feels like a good bass. Yep, best bass of the day. Without question. right up on that wall. Oh, and the drag and drop. Natural. That's a pretty fish, folks. Let's get him back in. Another fine bass. I've been slamming them on these Guggen Dragon Drops all day long. 
all day. Let's get you back in, darling. Thanks for playing. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Something's giving it a look. I can feel it. Whatever it is does not have a full hold of it yet. Maybe it does. All right. Another little tiny bass, just goofing around with it. Can we even consider this to be a bass? Yes, we can. Ooh, you're cold. That just fell right out of his. Easy. Still pretty. Still pretty. See ya. That's good. Stay pinned, buddy. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Leaving it lay down. Leaving it lay down. And up. And that is how you limit out. Want a Goog and Drag and Drop. It's a nice heavy trout. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Number five, folks, that is a limit out. Turn this around so you guys can see how pretty it is. Limit out. That's awesome. Thank you, Spring River. Fish on. All right. There we go. Decent one. On the Jekyll Custom in brown trout. Caught on the custom Jekyll and brown trout. Nice one. Nice little chunk. Good deal. Let's get you back in, kiddo. Very nice. 